Okay, so we're going to look at installing IntelliJ and the OpenJDK Java Development Kit for Windows uh, right now. We're going to get the OpenJDK version 14 from the Adopt OpenJDK website. We're going to choose the Intel x86 or Windows x86 uh, download, either the MSI or the executable, it doesn't really matter which one. It'll take a little while to download, maybe about five minutes, depending on your machine and your internet connection. And once it's downloaded, we'll open it. So we open it up and we'll just sort of click all the way through, take all the defaults, nothing really to change here. There is a difference between OpenJDK with hotspot and another one called J9. I don't see much of a difference between the two. On the Intel Mac version, or sorry, the, the Windows version, we'll use the hotspot version and on the Mac version video, we'll do it with uh, J9. All right, so we've completed that, and now we're gonna open up the command prompt and see if J shell works, the Java shell. We type in Java shell from the command prompt, see it works, we hit slash exit, we exit that, we go back to the PowerShell, which is another type of terminal in Windows, see if it works there. Yep, it seems to be working, no problem, that's fantastic. So good, so the JDK appears to be downloaded, wonderful, and it works. Now we're going to get the IDE called IntelliJ. So we go to JetBrains, that's the company that makes it. We're going to download the Community Edition, the executable for it. Click on Download. You can pay for the Ultimate version, but the Community version is just fine. All right, so we're going to download it. We'll wait for the download. It'll come down, and once it's downloaded, we will open it up. So again, it'll take a couple minutes. Once it's in, you open it up, and uh, you should be able to run it basically on its defaults. So the Community Edition is, is a perfectly fine version of the IDE. If you want to use Eclipse, you can, but uh, IntelliJ is pretty decent. And it runs in Mac OS and Windows as well. All right, so here we go. We're doing the setup. Next, next, next. We're going to do 64-bit launcher, and um, we'll uh, make sure it's associated with Java. And that's basically it. We click on next, and almost done. Now I've fast-forwarded fast all of this, so uh, it'll run a little slower on your machine. Now I got to reboot, so I'll do that, and I'll come back. So I've come back, I've after reboot, I'm now going to take a look at uh, the documentation for the SDK in um, IntelliJ. And basically, um, you can either download it uh, directly or you can download it through I IntelliJ. I've downloaded it separately, but um, either way works. In the Mac version of this video, I'll do it as a download through IntelliJ. All right, now I'm going to do a new project. And uh, so we'll set up a new project in Java. Java 14 has been detected, which is fantastic. I will call my new project first Java program. And it sets up the workspace, fantastic. I'm gonna ignore that tip. I'm gonna go over to project tab on the left. I'm going to do, I'm gonna click on first Java program up there. Source, new. I'm gonna call my Java class my first program in Java. And uh, now I'm going to make the main class. Sorry, the main method. Sorry, the main method in my uh, my first Java class. All right, now I'm going to do a an output here. So I will uh, do system dot out dot print line right here, and then I'll run it. Okay, so. So this is basically the structure that you have for most of your Java programs, where we have a public class, that's the name of the Java program, and then we have the main method inside of it. All right, so system.out.println, I gotta spell that right, hello. I'm gonna compile it using the build project, which is that hammer over there, and uh, then I'm going to run the, uh, the method, okay, and the sort of a, a window at the bottom will open up. It's basically a terminal. It shows that the hello has been displayed and we're good to go.